the Election Commission has allocated electoral symbols to candidates. The High Court will deliver its order tomorrow on writ petitions filed on the decision of rejecting Kaladasir's nomination papers. And Tariq Rahman and Mirza Fakrul is planning to file the election, said Kadir. Claim is rubbish, said PNP. Viewers, Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Mighty English Bulletin. I'm Sheila Well, with the others Zoom today. You're watching the headlines. Now the details. The Election Commission has allocated electoral symbols to candidates running for the national elections slated for December 30th. The Deputy Commissioner's Office started allocating symbols around 10 a.m. on Monday. Symbols will be allocated for all 300 constituencies throughout the day. The official election campaigns will begin after the locations are complete, confirmed EC Joint Secretary for Ahmed Khan. The candidates will have to stop their campaign 32 hours before polls day. This year, the candidate can campaign for 19 days. The High Court will deliver its order tomorrow on three repetitions filed by Kaladesia Challenge and Election Commission's order that upheld the returning officer's decision rejecting her nomination papers. The AC bench of Justice Syed Rafat Ahmed and Justice M. D. Iqbal Kabir fixed the date after concluding hearing on the appeals. During the hearing, Advocate Muhammad Ali Ash for Khalida Zia, while Attorney General Mahabubi Alam opposed the petitions. Khalida, a former Prime Minister, yesterday filed the petitions also seeking High Court directives on the EC to accept the nomination papers so that she can run from Bogura 6 and 7 and failing one constituencies. Here, BNP sentence leader Tariq Rahman is sitting in London with Pakistani intelligence agencies and Mirza Fakhrul Islam is planning to fall the election by holding a meeting at the Pakistani embassy in Bangladesh. Talking to journalists at the Noakhali District Aumilik office, Aumilik General Secretary Ubaidul Qadir said this. During this time, leaders and workers of the Aumilik and organizations were present. Here, BNP Secretary General Mirza Fakhrul Islam Alamgir has rubbished claims of meeting officials in Pakistan Embassy, saying it, it is a despicable rumor. It is a heinous lie of the Army League. Fakhrul said that while speaking at a press briefing at Kaladazir's Gulchan office today. Previously, it was Army League's General Secretary Ubadul Qadir who raised the allegation accusing Fakhrul of conspiring with Pakistan. BNP did not hold any secret meetings with any agency or countries. Fakhrul strongly said that terming it at a propaganda of the ruling party ahead of the election. The Appellate Division of Supreme Court has extended till June 30th next year the order that asks freedom fighters welfare trust to pay Taka 100 crore to the owner of the Moon Cinema Hall. The bench of Appellate Division, headed by Chief Justice Said Mahmoud Hussain, passed the order on Monday. Attorney General Mahbub Alam moved for the state while Barrister Aznamul Hussain attended during the hearing. Earlier on October 8, the Appellate Division ordered the freedom fighters welfare trust to pay Taka 100 crore to the owner of the Moon Cinema Hall and face December 8 to pay the amount. A school student was killed in a Gazipur City Corporation's Gacha Thanadin Chandru area. He is a 7th grade student of Gacha High School. Police say that in the evening, interactions with the opponent created the situation as the shravan fell into the ground after hitting with a knife. The injured rescued and brought to the hospital as the due to doctor declared him dead. In the incident, police detained one. Yes, that is all from a newsroom for now. Thanks for being with us to join it my TV News Online. Please visit www.youtube.com slash News and to watch all our programs on YouTube, visit youtube.com slash mytvbangla. Our next bulletin will be telecasted in Bangla at 7.30 p.m. Till then, I'm Sheila Iqbal signing off. Stay safe and connected. Allah Hafiz.